first log in as the administrator or teacher of that particular course. Go to the course, settings block, course administration, back up. So we step through the wizard here and essentially choose the settings for the activities and resources and corresponding user data that we may or may not wish to include in the manual backup. So the backup will uh, go by the course short name and have a date and timestamp. It's a summary of the items to be backed up and the, the data perform backup. This is the manual process. Naturally, uh, the system administrator can manage this uh, in an automated fashion for all courses on a scheduled basis uh, and or at a server level. So the backup file was successfully created. Now, as a teacher, it might be very useful to uh, periodically perform that process and then download the backup and store it offline. Uh, an even more useful thing to do perhaps uh, you know, at the end of a semester or an academic calendar year is to restore this course backup um, like a clone of an existing course to, uh, I guess, restore it into, a, to, into a, an empty course for next semester or next academic calendar year without having to you know, recreate um, the course from scratch. So there's uh, the restore function via the, the settings block in the given course, or else from the page we're currently on, we can go restore. This page gives us a summary of the backup details, settings, and the course details from the backup that we've just performed. Continue. We're given a couple options here in terms of how we restore the said course backup, either restoring into this particular course in one of two ways, or else restoring into an existing course, another course. Uh, and we can select from the available list there. I guess it's on the presumption that um, the said user performing the backup restore um, has the appropriate role in, uh, in this other course. So let's select Sampit 201. This might be for next semester or academic year. And then continue. Step through the wizard and decide what activities and data to include. Include in the, uh, the name of the course and its short name. Form the restore. So the, uh, the restore of the course backup was completed successfully. Click the continue button to return to the uh, course that was uh, just essentially cloned. 